What is VF in statistics? If you're working with multiple regression models and wondering how to identify if your independent variables are too, too closely related, you're in the right place. Let's talk about the variance inflation factor, or VF, and what it means for your statistical analysis. Imagine you're trying to predict how much a house will sell for based on several factors like the number of bedrooms, the size of the garden, and the age of the house. In a perfect world, each of these factors would be completely independent of each other, but in reality, they might be correlated. For example, houses with more bedrooms often have bigger gardens. The VEF is a measure that helps you understand how much this correlation, known as multicollinearity, affects your regression results. It calculates how much the variance of a regression coefficient is inflated because of this correlation. Here's how it works. For each independent variable in your model, you run a separate regression where that variable is the dependent variable and all the other independent variables are the predictors. You then calculate the R-squared value from this regression, which tells you how well the other variables explain the variable you're looking at. The VIF formula is simple. VIF equals 1, 1 minus R-squared, where R, R2 is the unadjusted coefficient of determination from that separate regression. A VF of 1 means the variable is not correlated with any other variables, which is ideal. However, as the VF increases, it indicates that the variable is highly correlated with other variables, which can make your regression results less reliable. For instance, a VF of 1.9 means the variance of the coefficient is 90% larger than it would be if there was no correlation. Generally, if the VF is between 1 and 5, it's considered moderately correlated. But if it's greater than 5, it's highly correlated and could be a problem. So, what does this mean for your analysis? If you have high VF values, it might indicate that you need to adjust your model. You could drop one of the highly correlated variables or find a way to combine them to capture their joint effect. However, there are cases where high VFs aren't a concern, such as when the variables with high VFs are control variables and the variables of interest do not have high VFs. In summary, the VIF is a powerful tool to detect multicollinearity in your regression models. By understanding and managing these correlations, you can ensure your regression results are more accurate and reliable. So next time you're analyzing data, keep an eye on those VIF values to make sure your model is as robust as possible.